welcome to story imagination today's story time is a folk tale from karnataka a jamma's rooster and her clay oven long ago on the banks of river kaveri was a small and beautiful village in that village lived an old woman called a jamma who had a rooster or a cock called hunja and hunja was the only rooster in the entire village at dawn as the sun rose hunja would clear his throat and crow loud cock a doodle do hearing the call the villagers would wake up they would slowly open their eyes to see the early morning rays of sun join their hands in salutation to the sun god and begin their day those days food used to be cooked on mud or clay oven and there was no match box to light fire Ajma had a clay oven where she kept charcoal burning throughout the day. All the women of the village would go to Ajma's hut to get burning charcoal and would light the oven in their homes. Ajma was the eldest in the village and everybody in the village loved and respected her. One day all the villagers decided to go to their neighboring village to enjoy the village fair. Ajma was busy working in the backyard. She did not hear people knock at her door and call her. Ajma, Ajma, open the door. We are all waiting for you. Let's go to the village fair. Ajma, are you there at home? The villagers waited for a while and then left. Finally, when Ajma came out of her house and saw nobody around, she felt upset. These villagers, I doubt if they really respect me. They all see the mornings because of my rooster. The sun comes every day after hearing my rooster's crow, and people can cook food only because of the burning charcoal that I provide. But selfish people, they have left me alone and gone. Hmm. I think I should teach them a lesson. Only then they will realize my value. The villagers were back in the evening. Ajma did not talk to anybody. At night, when the village was asleep, she locked her house and slowly left the village, taking her hunja with her. She climbed a tall tree in the village outskirts and sat there. Oh, I have a good view of the village from here. Let me see what the villagers will do without my rooster. And I have locked the house, so they can't even get burning charcoal. Seeing so, she fell asleep on a wide tree branch. Next morning, Hunja, as usual, cleared his throat and crowed loudly. <laughs> Ajma opened her eyes and saw the sun rising. Her village too looked bright. Ajma wondered how the village was lit up when the rooster was with her. But somehow, she started missing her village and her people i do not know if my people respect me but i love them all how will they have their morning coffee and children would be crying for breakfast how can the women cook without fire from my oven i can't see them suffer i must get back to the village quickly ajma got down from the tree and started walking towards her village On the way, she saw a bullock cart. Going, her neighbor was riding the cart. He immediately got down and ran to her, asking, "Oh, Ajma, are you all right? We were all worried, and I came looking out for you. Is everything okay, Ajma?" Tears welled up in Ajma's eyes. She quietly got onto the cart with Hunja. As Govind drove the cart, Ajma asked him, "Did you have your coffee, Govind?" Oh, Ajma! None of us could have our coffee as you were not there. Then the schoolmaster had an idea. He rubbed two stones to start fire. It was great fun. Kids also started rubbing stones to produce fire. It was fun, Ajma. You two come and see. Coffee and breakfast will be ready by the time we reach. Oh, really? But how did you people meet? Was it not dark? Dark? No, it was not dark. 
It's already morning time, Ajamma. My hunja was far away from the village. So, how did the sun rise there? Ajamma muttered to herself. She thought hard and smiled. She said, Govind, do you know I have made a discovery? Discovery? What is it, Ajamma? Yes, a great discovery I have made. The sun rises even if my rooster does not crow. Hearing this, Govind looked confused. He could not understand why she was saying that. When they reached the village, she saw her villagers were anxiously waiting for her. They were all relieved to see her. They greeted her and were concerned if she was all right. They offered her coffee and breakfast. Ajama smiled and told them all about her discovery. And from that day onward, every child in the village knew the sun will rise even if the rooster does not grow. Hope you like the story. See you another day with another story. Stay safe and stay happy. Ta-ta.